Hi guys, welcome to Dog Shala. So today in our uh, video, we are going to see about an important topic that is Turner's hypoplasia. Uh, Case-based question was given in the previous exam of NEET MDS. So let's just see what Turner's hypoplasia is. So Turner's hypoplasia, it is a abnormality which is found in teeth. Okay, so its appearance is variable, but mostly it might appear as a brownish sharp pigment on the tooth. So, it was a portion of missing enamel or enamel or diminished enamel on permanent teeth. So, Turner's hypoplasia usually it affects only a single tooth of the dentition. It doesn't affect multiple tooth. Uh, it only affects a single tooth. So, hence that tooth alone is known as Turner's tooth. Okay, so that is alone as known as Turner's tooth. So, so let's just see uh, what are the causes that we uh, see for Turner's hypoplasia. So, Turner's hypoplasia, it is uh, commonly found in maxillary and mandibular incisors or ma maxillary and mandibular incisors and premolars okay so canine is also a common or common uh, uh, tooth but uh, mostly incisors and premolars premolars are the most common tooth. Uh, when it is found in canine or premolar the most likely cause is the previous infection that was present when the primary tooth was still in mouth so the when the primary tooth are still in mouth the any previous infection near that uh, primary tooth can cause turner's hypoplasia in the uh, successive tooth that is in the secondary tooth the most likely the primary tooth uh, was maybe heavily decayed or an area of inflamed tissue if it is a heavily decayed tooth or the primary tooth if it is a heavily decayed tooth or it is having any periapical uh, malformations like periapical abscess, uh, any other periapical granuloma like that, then the development of the uh, secondary successor tooth that is there in the, uh, that is there below the primary tooth gets hindered. Because of that, we will find problems in the uh, enamel development. When we find problems in that enamel development of this uh, permanent tooth, then the uh, the chance of uh, forming of Turner's tooth is more. Okay, then one more cause is that it might it if it is found if it is found in the anterior area. Now we have seen posterior like canines. If it is affecting canines and premolars, what is the cause? We know it might be because of infections or it might be because of the any uh, periapical uh, lesions. So if Turner's hypoplasia is found in anterior region, anterior region is incisor region the most likely causes traumatic injury to the primary tooth. The most likely causes traumatic injury to the primary tooth. The traumatized tooth, usually a maxillary central incisor, it is pushed into the... So, suppose uh, we'll consider this as the socket of the primary tooth and this as the tooth. So, when there is trauma, when there is uh, trauma to this tooth, it is pushed into the... It is pushed more inside the socket. So, this affects the consequent uh, formation of enamel in the permanent tooth, which is underneath this socket. So, because of the location of permanent tooth developing tooth bud in relation to the primary tooth, the most likely affected area on permanent tooth is the facial surface. Facial surface is most likely affected. So, as we know, white or yellow discoloration, sometimes brown, brown discoloration can also be seen. So that is also a uh, Turner's hypoplasia only. So it affects usually tooth enamel. If trauma occurs prior to the third year of life. So prior, uh, prior uh, the kid reaches uh, before third, three years, like the, the three years of age, if the trauma is occurring, then that will lead to Turner's hypoplasia because after three years of age, what happens is even if the trauma is occurring, the enamel is already matured. The enamel gets already matured by, uh, within three years of age. That is the permanent teeth enamel. So even if uh, there is trauma occurring into the uh, primary teeth after three years, the uh, uh, incidence of formation of Turner's tooth is not that evident. Okay. So injuries. Uh, so uh, since enamel is calcified. So as we see here. So this may also result in 
dilaceration of the root of the permanent tooth. Sometimes this may also result in dilaceration of the root of the permanent tooth. So these are the causes. Posterior teeth, we have seen the cause. That is due to periapical infections or heavy carious lesions. Anterior teeth, if there is a turn of tooth, the cause is traumatic injury to the tooth. Okay. So these are the causes of turnus tooth or turnus hypoplasia. Then you can see from the image here. So here you can see the uh, premolar having the turnus uh, syndrome. So here you can see the x-ray. It is looking as if a carious lesion is there. But clinically, there is no caries in the permanent teeth. It is due to, due to defective mineralization of enamel. The radiolucid is due to defective mineralization of the enamel. So here this boy, you can see the traumatic injury caused turnus hypoplasia. So this is the traumatic injury caused turnus hypoplasia. So next. So the question which was asked in the previous exam was an eight year old male boy with reported with brownish discoloration of the teeth. He had a history of trauma a few years back. So he's not uh, telling at what year he had that history, but he's just telling that he had an history a few years back and there is no hereditary history. So since there is no hereditary history and the child has reported with a brownish discoloration of uh, teeth, so it, we can come directly to the conclusion that the tooth is a turnus tooth and option c is the correct answer okay so if you like our video do uh, share and subscribe to our youtube channel do like our videos uh, so if you give us more encouragement we can do more videos like this for your uh, future for your reading for your preparations so you can also follow us on doc, uh, instagram for a uh, doc shala and a uh, doc shala medical and you can also find us on telegram thank you